Okay, cats. No jailbreaking. It's a cat adoption day. Cat adoption day is a little bit like Groundhog's Day. I can tell you right now that we're coming home with both cats. Even knowing that, we have to go anyway in the unlikely event that a really good person comes along and wants one or both of the cats, which we hope for every time. Sorry guys, we need gas. She wants to you the man. Mittens! Mittens, try being a man. Mr. Mittens. Be a man, Mittens, be a man. Gas is only 372. That's awesome. Wow. Only $61? That's fantastic. in Woodland Hills at Petco. Mittens having some suicidal thoughts? Mittens? The lady tried to give Mittens a pill to keep him calm and uh, that resulted in him going crazy. How are we going to find them homes if he can't even pick them up? All right. We're going to go out for a little while. This time the lady gave Mittens a pill and to get the cat to swallow it, if he doesn't, you have to blow in his nose. So when she did that, he really went crazy and he like literally ran around me. <laughs> like it was like it was like a cartoon, right? It was like you see cats in the cartoons and I tried to hold him as best as I could, but I got clawed half to death, and then he ran up the uh, those thingies. What do you call them? The, uh, the Petco the, display. He ran up a, a display. Ugh. Wow, look at how smoggy it is today. Hospital? No, I can't afford the hospital. Mittens bit me. Right through a towel. It does? Mm, it's just... It's not too bad. It's not a deep scratch, but... In Mittens' defense, that's very unlike him, but he was totally freaked. And blowing in his nose while shoving a pill down his throat didn't really help things. Whoever adopts Mittens will eventually have a very great cat. Eventually. Eventually. But it's going to take time for him to warm up to the new person. And I've been eating so well up until yesterday when we ordered the pizza. So one of the volunteers at the cat thing says that soaking your, your bitten finger in uh, lukewarm water helps to prevent um, infection before it gets bad. Alright, we're back at Petco. We're going to go see how our miserable cats are doing. 
And I'm not being negative, I'm being realistic. Nobody looked at them, but we'll see. May I be wrong? I would happily be wrong. The first straw I got was defective. Maybe it's, it's a, uh, yeah, I don't know. How you doing, Mittens? Hey, Jerry. We have clients coming over tomorrow. What are your thoughts about the trash cans lined up in front of our house? Should we move them? Okay. It really gives the wrong message. I, I hope people understand. It makes us look sloppy. It's, people judge. And no matter what we do to the yard, it still looks awful, so that just makes it look even worse. My dad could explain this a lot better than I am. They judge, that's all. They judge, but... All right, first from our favorite neighbors over here. Here, we can make a, little, make a little pile. Here's their washing machine dryer sheets. This is just from the other day. We do this every single week for the past four years. It's ridiculous. I actually bought these grabber things specifically for their trash. These were $20. This is why they're banning plastic bags. All they do is eat candy. Yep. I'm sure 90% of people watching are like, so clean it up. Good, that's what you should do. No, that's what the people that made the mess should do, not us. Why should I have to spend my time cleaning up their garbage on my property? Everything is recyclable. It's all paper and plastic. It can all go in the recycling. This is just filthy. Ugh. I'll put it in the trash thing. There's not another soul in the entire neighborhood that doesn't put their trash cans away. Except that house and that house. How much is that jury in the window? Today was a lot of fun, huh? Not really. I'm sorry. I never know whether I should post vlogs like this or not, because they're not all happy like other people, but not every day is happy. Like today kind of sucked, but that was my day. So I don't know what we're going to do with these cats. We can't have three cats. We can't afford three cats. I'm sure most people watching don't get the thing with the trash cans, but they're in front of our house, so I'd have to assume that we run the risk of actually getting in trouble for them being there. It, it just looks bad. You don't want clients who are paying you to do a job coming to your house and seeing that. All right, well, thank you for sticking with us today. If you would like a uh, killer cat, please let me know. And thank you for watching, and good night.